And the remarkable thing is that the velocity in the x-direction throughout this whole trajectory, if there is no air drag, if there is no friction, is not changing. It's only the velocity in the y-direction that is changing. It means if I throw up this golf ball, I throw it up like this, and it has a certain component in the x-direction, a certain I move myself with exactly that same velocity, with exactly the same horizontal velocity, I could catch the ball here. It would, it would have to come back exactly in my hands. That is because there is only an acceleration in the y direction, but the motion in the y direction is completely independent of the x direction. The x direction doesn't even know what's going on in the y direction. In the x direction, if I throw an object like this, the x direction simply, very boringly, moves with a constant velocity. There is no time dependence. And the y direction on its own does its own thing. It goes up, comes to a halt, and it stop. And of course, the actual motion is the sum, the superposition of the two. 